Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and carrying on from our series of Intel budget installations and budget equipment and components, we are now moving on to the mysterious wonders of the M.2 drive and how to install the M.2 drive on the H310M HDV slash M.2. It's not rocket science, but I'll show you how to do it anyway. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so if you're not too sure what a M.2 is, or even what a hard drive is, or an SSD is, then uh, you're in the right place, because I'm gonna show you exactly what they are, how they're installed, and how to do it. So, what is a M.2 drive? An M.2 drive is a new form factor, which is basically like an M key, which fits into a specific motherboard header on most modern motherboards. Now, in this particular board, luckily for us, is at the very bottom, and it's essentially, it's a PCI Express modified port for specifically transferring data from these types of drives. So you get two types of M.2 drive. Well, you actually get more than that, but for argument's sake, you get two types. You get the SATA M.2 SSD, and you get the NVMe PCI Express M.2. Now the NVMe ones are more higher level and cost considerably more. Whereas these SATA SSD type M.2 drives are considerably cheaper. Now this at the moment is a Western Digital. This is the green one and is 240 gigs, currently retailing about 40 pounds in the UK. So very good price, very good performance for what it is, and also pretty easy to install. And another byproduct of them being very easy to install and the fact they actually fit on the main board is you don't have to worry about supplementary power or supplementary data cables go into the drives and adding more cabling mess to your system. So if you're looking for an ultra clean looking build, then these are definitely worth looking at. So first of all, let's go ahead and install the drive and we'll take out the packaging. Now you will notice on most motherboards, not all, but most, there are a selection of holes for these different drives. Now that comes down to the style of drive you're installing. Now this particular one is a 2280, which is basically the size of it. So this is the larger of the M.2 slots, but you can actually get smaller devices which fit into the respective holes on the motherboard. Now the motherboard actually has a, uh, a coating or a little plastic sticker normally over the tops of these holes when they're not in use to prevent any kind of short circuit. So if you are installing a uh, M.2 drive, Make sure that those are nice and isolated so if you put a drive in, you're not going to short circuit anything because that'd be really bad. So that is what we get for all that money. A lot. So you get an instruction manual, you get a bit of packaging, and you get a clamshell with your drive in. So as you can see, that is the drive itself. Very small, very compact. And as you can see on one end, you have the, uh, the, what they call the M key, which is on this end. So if you look at it that way, it almost looks like an M. And on the other end, this is where the screw attaches and connects it to your motherboard. I'm not too sure if there is actually any um, sort of earthing that goes through that point. I believe there is, but I'm not an electro scientist or electronics expert by any means. But to me, that looks like it has some kind of uh, gold or some kind of coating on there to make it uh, conductive. So be warned. So the M key fits into the slots at the bottom. And if you give it a little wiggle, it should firmly install itself. Now it's spring loaded or partially spring loaded, which is mostly what the screw is for actually. Now the screw that holds these down generally comes with your motherboard. So, um, these are actually really difficult to replace and they're tiny so mainly you lose them and also uh, you will struggle to get a replacement from a manufacturer should you lose it. So apply a little bit of pressure onto the drive and then gently screw the screw into the mounting point. Don't over tighten it because you will definitely damage the drive because it is only a printed circuit board with no protection to it. So uh, do be very careful, don't over tighten it. As soon as you feel it's uh, snugly sort of pinching, stop, you're done. Talking of which, uh, so are we. So that is the drive installed. 
Now all the power and data connections are done through that port there. So we are done. There's no more wiring or data connections necessary. You may or may not, depending on your motherboard's BIOS revision, need to make a configuration change to allow this to be a bootable drive if you are going to boot from it, which I would imagine in most cases people probably will. Um, obviously do check that with your BIOS manufacturer or vendor, whatever. Um, but anyway, that's been how to install a M.2 drive. I uh, hope it's been uh, useful for you. If it has, click on the like button. If it hasn't been useful, click on the dislike button, but tell me why in the comments if you have a lot of feelings one way or the other. So I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. This has been how to install a WD Green M.2 drive on the ASRock H310M HDV slash M.2. And we will catch you again in the very next video. Thanks for watching.